I'm here on location at Descanso Gardens in Los Angeles, and today on Made in Hollywood, I'm going to sit down with the cast of the sci-fi adventure, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I mean, I might as well be in front of apes. I was gonna say that. I was thinking Honestly. That. Do you start to forget? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen them? <laughs> Also on today's show, Chris Pine makes his directorial debut with the mystery comedy, Pool Man. This is my own to a time in Los Angeles that, that I love and to a version of Los Angeles that I'm familiar with. Plus, Jacob Badalon plays a deadly game with fate in the horror thriller Terrell. Isabella Merced stars in the romantic drama Turtles All the Way Down. And the action thriller Breathe features Jennifer Hudson, Mila Jovovich, and Quivenjan A. Wallace. This week on Made in Hollywood. Set years after the reign of Caesar, a young ape embarks on a quest to chart a course for the future by uncovering the truth about the past in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Hey! <laughs> when I sleep, I see strange things. Memories? Not memories. New things. I see everything. My favorite part of all of the Apes films is the state-of-the-art performance motion capture technology. It looks so real. Even when the Apes are crying like in their eyes, it looks insanely real. But take me through six weeks of Ape School. So we uh, started with, with our movement coordinator, Alain Gautier. Uh, he led us through some basic physical theater exercises and pretty quickly started helping us find the bodies of the apes. He studied apes and all the different types of apes, but the one thing that's common with apes is the rib cage and the hips are very close together, so there's no torsion, so that's why they kind of move like mm -hmm. this. You know how when we walk, we counterbalance, right? Right. Apes, it's the, it's the opposite. You are familiar with the concept of evolution. Then you start to filter in your character, your idea of what it is, and then all of a sudden, Alain asks you a question, and all of a sudden, my voice changed, and I became Proximus. What a wonderful day! They move slower than the other apes, but 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 very efficient with their movement. Okay, here we go. We worked very hard. It's always the same team at Weta FX in uh, in New Zealand. They we're standing on their shoulders on the stuff that they invented. All right, here we go. Pictures up. Nova slash May, she's the only human character in the film. So on set, you're not actually obviously working with apes. You're face to face with actors in these gray suits and markers all over their faces. How was that? I mean, I might as well be in front of apes. I was gonna say that. I was thinking Honestly. That. Do you start to forget? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen them? <laughs> I mean, look at me. I mean, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, don't yeah. mean like that. <laughs> sure you don't. <laughs> I mean like that. I just mean like they're brilliant at, you know, what they learn in ape school. <laughs> they fully graduated. <laughs> you would choose a human over an ape. Together, you will die. No! You've stated that what resonates about this film is the fact that they hold up a mirror to society. Look at some of the problems that we face as a human yeah. race. It compels us to look at that through this lens of this mystical world. So what would you say you want people to take away from this film? These movies have always worked on the, in a way of kind of looking at the times we live in. And the idea of knowledge is power. That's, that was a big theme for us in this movie. Um, so, you know, we don't try to force it down anyone's throat, but, you know, <laughs> there's, there's ideas in there to chew on. No, together, strong. Coming up, Chris Pine makes his directorial debut with the mystery comedy Pool Man, and Jacob Badalon tempts fate in the horror thriller Terrell. To find out where to watch any movie, check out moviephone.com. Find it 
watching. This is my ode to a time in Los Angeles that, that I love and to a version of Los Angeles that I'm familiar with. Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. A native Angelino embarks on a journey of enlightenment after going undercover to reveal the corruption in his beloved city in Chris Pine's directorial debut, Pool Man. Hey there, Los Angeles. You've reached Awesome Aquatic. Have an awesome aquatical day. I've never thought about directing in the stars line because of COVID, really. I had an idea for a pool man named Darren Barrenman that shot around in my brain for two years and then COVID hit. So I decided to write it with my writing partner. And then as I was writing it, I was thinking about it visually. So then it just felt like what I had to do. Welcome back. What is it today? I have just finished a study of how we can make the bus schedule great. Reggie. They say write about what you know. So I wrote about Los Angeles and about actors and failed actors and directors and failed directors. It was just the world that I grew up in, in Los Angeles, which was kind of part one foot on the Boulevard of Dreams and, you know, one foot in the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So this is my ode less to Los Angeles in many ways, my ode to them, the people that come to this city and want to be famous and known to have their stories heard and, and, and don't. Something that I loved, especially having moved here from New York, was that sense of like hope and possibility and access and that it's the kind of city where if you are seeking you can find something. Stephen Sturdy. He's a threat to our great city. Yeah. I need your help taking him down. Like undercover? Yes. Uh, I'm not really trying. Can I get back to you? A tremendous love for the city, as you can tell from the movie. So there's so many, you know, restaurants referenced and um, traffic, like ways of getting places and even parking and architectural gems that we have in the city. I'm also a big preservation buff and, and a lover of Los Angeles architecture of old and, and really not of what we're doing now. I'm a lover of what we call the red trolley car system back in the day, which if you've seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you know how uh, that story went. So this is my ode to a time in Los Angeles that, that I love and to a version of Los Angeles that I'm familiar with. I started meditating to push away the blues. <laughs> But now I feel them coming back. I'm not sure what to do. Big thing about coming here and trying to like get things going, because it's the, the boulevard of dreams, the broken dreams as well. I tried over and over and over and over, try to make the film that I really wanted. He gives me the opportunity to do it because he is like a dog after a bone about this city thing. And pulling back the onion, uh, on that mystery winds up giving me my movie because he finds himself, which is really what the inside, it's really the inside of what this movie is about. I know it's dangerous, but I got myself into this. I gotta get myself out. Here's what's hot on screen. An unspeakable evil gets unleashed on a group of friends playing a reckless game with fate in the horror thriller Tarot featuring Jacob Badalon. such a funny like also like very great relatable movie i think that like their friend the friend group like relationship is so strong that you don't want to see any of them die this old deck's kind of strange where did you find him it's an unspoken rule not to use somebody else's cards who cares who's going first uh you know i would say that it it can help you sort of like learn some things about yourself um, I definitely, I definitely try to steer clear of anything spiritual, just in case I get, you know, a ghost attached to me. <laughs> um, Hello. You're never to deal with a jackass. <laughs> Everyone was so talented and so fun to be around. I think, um, like, the girls were really into tarot for sure. They were really all about it. And uh, the guys were kind of just like, <laughs> it was it was just a typical friend group. Magician. 
<laughs> Serbia as a country was is such a beautiful place. And we were able to find in that beautiful place the scariest places possible. And I've I've worked on movies where we're like working late at night in some forest, but there were some places where I felt very, very like maybe we shouldn't be here. I think it's a fun, like, thrilling adventure to really do a horror movie because you're like always up and like something scary is gonna pop out at you. It's like a fun, it's like a haunted house, but um, but also like you are definitely emotionally charged all the time, you know, between like the crying and the screaming and this, and like the seeing scary things and like all these heightened emotions. You're definitely a hundred percent all the time. Who's next? To find out where to watch any movie, check out moviephone.com. Find it, watch it. Up next, Isabella Merced faces her greatest fears in the romantic drama Turtles All the Way Down, and the action thriller Breathe features Jennifer Hudson, Mila Jovovich, and Quivin Janae Wallace. As an actor, one of the most important aspects of a movie is who's the cast around you. Now available on your home screen. After reconnecting with her childhood crush, a 17-year-old is forced to confront her crippling anxiety in the romantic drama Turtles All the Way Down, starring Isabella Merced. Your body is nothing but a host to a massive collection of parasitic organisms ready to cause infection, ready to cause infection, ready to cause infection. You can feel them living and breeding and dying inside of you. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Thought spiral? That was definitely a struggle for me to decide when to read the book. Um, I was reluctant to pick it up. I read the book uh, before I auditioned for the first time. The email came through and I had like three days and I read it and then I read it again actually while we were filming. So I, I never had any hesitation with reading it. I was reluctant to um, to option the rights at all. I, I only did it because I have a lot of faith in the producers who also have produced everything else I've I've worked on, but I, I thought it was just going to be very difficult to take such an interior story and make it into a, a good movie. Plenty of people with anxiety disorder have fulfilling romantic relationships. Hi. Hi. Free and Bella were friends before this. Yeah, they were friends for a long time before, so that, that made my job easier. And, you know, they didn't know Felix, but that was kind of perfect for the dynamic in the movie as well. It creates that, you know, nervous new energy. Look at you! You're literally a glow! Even if I was! I can't date anyone, you know that. I don't know that. Why can't you? We all just kind of had our own quirks about us and they seemed to sync up really well in an effortless way. Yeah, like it's nice to like bond like for the movie, but also like we were having a good time. Like yeah. we genuinely enjoyed each other. We were having a great time. You guys know each other from school, but that like that double date scene is still very much like yeah. new friend energy. So yeah. to be able to take that and kind of have like a little bit of a reference was so fun. Mm -hmm. You're sweating. They probably think you're just a sweaty freak. You can't have a boyfriend. You can't go to college. You can't even control your own brain. It shouldn't have been easy, but Isabella made it easy. Thankfully, she came to us pretty early in the process. We had a scene in the audition where she was reading the voiceover and she didn't just read that voiceover. She, mm -hmm. she felt it with every part of her body. I had auditioned when I was really young, probably honestly too young. And then another time in 2018, I sent in a self tape. I didn't have to audition for a third time. They just watched the two self tapes and how I grew, I guess, as an actor. And they approved. Hannah Marks was the one to pull the plug and make that decision. And I respect her so much. I think she is the perfect director for this movie. Aza, for once in your life, do not overthink this. For me, like I was lucky to have a lot of silly moments and jokey moments where Hannah really let me try things and say stupid jokes and try to see what works. There's a lot that didn't make the cut. I love the bit where Daisy goes off and goes like, oh, our canoe broke. And then that whole canoe insurance bit that she does, Cree, that was improv. Like she's just, she's just so funny. Everything's gonna be okay. You know why? Because you never give up. I mean, they love each other so much that we all flew out here together to hang out for today, even though it's a virtual press junket. Like, we don't have to be in the same place at the same time. We just really wanted to be. Um, and that I think that speaks to how much the cast just love each other. And, and a lot of that is because of how Hannah set things up. That's one of the things I love about you. No matter how scared you are, you never stop trying.
now available on demand. After the Earth becomes an uninhabitable wasteland, a mother and daughter's only hope for survival lies in each other, as Jennifer Hudson, Mila Jovovich, and Quivin Jane Wallace star in the action thriller, Breathe. I'll be back as soon as I can. Try not to kill each other while I'm gone. Oxygen levels at 20%. As an actor, one of the most important aspects of a movie is who's the cast around you. I couldn't believe that I was working with Jennifer Hudson and Common and Mila and Sam. It, it was a lot of big people. Jennifer was definitely the driving force behind this movie being made. Meeting with Jennifer was great because I was like, I keep imagining in my head, Jennifer Hudson holding a shotgun. Because if Jennifer Hudson got to shoot you, you deserve to get shot. Ma, we haven't seen a living thing in three years. The world can heal if we give it time. We just gotta keep at it. Come on. We shot them during the summer. It was 98 degree heat. It was hot. They had to wear long sleeves. And that mask kept breaking mid-take. At first, I hated the masks. I hated them. I couldn't breathe. It was also hot as hell where we were filming. It was like 100 degrees, but they helped bring me to a part of the character where she had been struggling, Zora, with the mask for a while. At, at one point, you know, there'd be sweat going in our eyes, but we can't rub it off because we have these masks on. Who the hell are you? I know your husband was working on the O2 generator. I need to replicate it. If she could replicate dad's invention, it could be onto something big, Ma. I'd like to think there's a couple of messages in the film, but the main one being that if we do not take care of the space that we're living in, that we may end up like Zora and Maya. I, I feel like I hope people are going to be more likely to demand change from their governments. The message is clear is that we everybody has to do their part to figure out how to stop and reverse climate change. We're in this together, right? We're in this together. Stay tuned, there's more coming up on Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood. Thanks for watching Made in Hollywood, powered by Movie Phone. For more behind the screen content, check out moviephone.com. Made in Hollywood.